Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So, as promised, guys, um, I am going to show you this pretty awesome farm of where to get the Greater Shadow Protection po Potion Recipe. Now, I will advise you that these mobs are at the highest level here so they are pretty tough to kill at times they have a lot of fears casts things like that that make them also very obnoxious i'm a bot completely missed my kona cold but as you see here these mobs are no joke um these dread reavers are not the mobs that drop the recipe either the mobs that drop them are further back here in this area it's just you pretty much have to kill them all to get there a lot of rune cloth drops here as well as if you put on your argent dawn rune um you can get scourge stones the invader scourge stones which is pretty good so if you're trying to farm argent dawn rep you can definitely come here and get quite a lot of stones while you're doing this you get rune cloth and you'll also get a lot of um, just pure raw silver, which is pretty great. Now the mobs that drop this are dark apps, or dark apps, and shadow mages. Those are the people that you're going to want to kill, and they are back here in the noxious glade, as well as over here. I prefer the noxious glade just because it's very close to the flight path. The vendor, if you run out of room for whatever reason, I clear up a lot of my bags. I just like to, before I start to farm, I'll just mail everything that can be mailed to my bank. And then by the time I'm done farming, I can just go to my bank, alt, press return, and all my stuff is there. But anyway, this is to follow up all the herbalism guides for you alchemists. Why we've been gathering fade leaf and uh, Grave Moss trying to make that shadow oil. Um, that's just, I just wanted to show you guys how you can get this and you really, really utilize um, those previous guides that we've been getting. Now they are in the Cult of the Damned, so there will be a little title under them. Um, these champions and ghosts don't really drop it. We got to go a little bit deeper in here to start to see them. And there they are, right there. There's a Dark Eft. Um, there's Crypt Slayers. Um, but they're really just around a lot of the structures here. And you should be able to find them in a high density. Yeah, we have this uh, rogue here that's actually farming some stuff as well. But anyway, guys, this is sort of the area. Just look to kill them. And if you see them, start farming them. Um, if you find this area is too contest, there is another area far away that might be better for you. But, you know, you just have to really test around and sort of see that for yourselves. Um, as far as how lethal these can be, um, just keep them at a distance and watch for fear. I would be my best guess. If you're in melee, you might actually struggle killing these or, like, you feared into additional mobs. But at the end of the day, they're just level 60 normal mobs. You're not going to uh, struggle too hard at being able to fight them. But, yeah, anyway, guys, that's sort of the place. If I find anything of note, I will let you know and point that out. And until then, guys, I'll see you at the end of the video. Whoop. Alrighty, guys. So we have actually walked into one of these structures. There's a lot of golems around, but we did find a solid chest inside of this uh, ziggurat, I guess is what they are. Um, there are golems here, but I was looking to see if the shadow mages were up, but they were not. But yeah, you just sort of walk around. Um, they do have a shared spawn point. So killing other things does help a lot, but definitely check out the buildings because you can find mini mages and other uh, goodies like that solid chest in there. But just wanted to point that out and let you guys know that if you're out here grinding, farming away, trying to get some fun potions or recipes. Alrighty guys, I'll see you at the end. Whoop! Alrighty guys, due to that rogue severely... Uh farming that and just having the rotation and the and their spawn timers down i've decided to come to the other area here the fungal veil um looks like a lot of these shadow mages and other uh mobs that we want to kill here are up so 
if you encounter something like that, while there are, while I do think the other place is better, it's not better if you don't get the farm to yourself. Now this dude, there is a lotus spawn here too, so I think that guy is up here checking for uh, black lotus. But anyway, just wanted to show you up here where you can find a lot more shadow mages and dark apps if they are, um, if the other spot is contested. You know, that's actually something awesome that you have these options to sort of come here and kill other mobs and actually having two locations to farm instead of just being bottlenecked to one. Again, it's the fungal veil right here. Which, it does suck if you have limited bag space, but we've really only gotten scourge stones, rune cloth, and some, like, spider pieces like that. But anyway, guys, just wanted to show you this. Uh, also, be sure to check the structures here and any campfires and stuff because that's where they tend to spawn. Anyway, guys, that's all I wanted to let you know, and I will see you at the end. Alrighty, guys, so there we have it from this dark F right here. After 21 minutes of farming, 40 mob kills, we were able to get... The Greater Shadow Protection Recipe, which is awesome. It's selling for 60 gold right now. Um, you know, it's just, it, I mean, it has a 2% drop, and these mobs are up pretty frequently. They just are in the outskirts and in the buildings, so make sure you check those. And they don't always spawn at the camp. Other things can spawn there, so I recommend running around and killing those. But just wanted to show you, we actually did get the recipe, which is awesome. And, you know, with BWL on the horizon, I believe a few fights use them. Um, people are starting to AoE down Major Domo for um, this, and they require those pots so they don't take too much shadow damage. And so, yeah, it's just... It's a great potion to have for now and the near future. So just wanted to show you guys that you can get it. It's a great farm and you can make some pretty awesome money. But yeah, guys, so I'm happy, you know, 20 minutes and we already got it. So we'll see how the rest of it goes. And yeah, I'll see you then, guys. Alrighty, guys. So after an hour of farming here, we uh, were able to only get one... Greater Shadow Protection Pot, but still pretty awesome, if you ask me. We got six golden currency looted, item value at 77G. We got four noteworthy items, and we killed 98 mobs. So, you know, we're going pretty good, able to kill 100 mobs in an hour. That's not horrible. Um, we got a, a lot of rune cloth here. Um... We were also able to get two BOEs, Emerald Leg Plates of the Bear and Arcane Gloves, which both, there's just better. Like, they are pretty decent, so we're going to disenchant these, hope for some Eternals. Um, we got some Illusion Dust there, and two Illusion Dust. So, we should have just vendored those, but, you know, that's, that's how enchanting goes sometimes. You win, sometimes you lose. But, anyway... I would rate this a pretty good farm if you want rune cloth. Um, we also got 51 invader scourge stones, which is great if you're trying to get your Argent Dawn rep up. I do believe that these give reputation up to 11.99 in honored. So if you're not honored with Argent Dawn yet, or if you're not revered with them yet, you do get reputation for killing these mobs. So that's also something that you can do here. Um, but I did actually get a major mana pot from one of them, so that's pretty freaking good. Um, but yeah, there's just so much you can get with those mobs there, as well as there can be Plague Bloom spawning and just a lot of other stuff. So I really hope this uh, helps you guys, sort of lets you see what you're able to get out of this if you put in the time to come out here and farm. I am a mage, so, you know, I can AoE them together. But if we look, if we take away the um, 50 gold that it's appraised this at, I mean, that's still 30 gold in just everything else. As well as they are max level, so you can get some pretty awesome epic BOEs if you find yourself lucky enough to get those. But anyway, guys, that's sort of it. 
and I really hope this helps you and you're able to make some greater shadow protection pots or sell the recipe and get gold for whatever the reason you need it. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. If you made it to the ending, thank you so much for watching this video. It really helps. If you could, please share this with like one person you know because it would help me so, so much. I'd appreciate that. Really gets me going on this and can keep growing to make this sustainable and keep up this lifestyle. So I super appreciate it. And if you could please like, comment, and subscribe, it would mean the world to me. And thank you so very much. Bye-bye.